Hi, I'm Magai Bo, and today I'm going to tell you about one of my most favourite EVE Online resources, Zedkill or Zedkillbo.com. The idea of Zedkill is so straightforward but so brilliantly executed. Every time somebody loses a ship in EVE Online, a kill mail is produced, which provides a lot of detail about the kill and the killers. And if you signed up to EVE Online, then that information is automatically and in real time brought through to Zedkill. And then that information is added to the Zedkill database. And from there, we get this wonderful site of organized madness. This is the front page of Zedkill. And we can see that there are three rows here. The most viable structure kills within the last seven days, the most viable ship kills and sponsored kill mails, which I'll tell you about later on. What exactly is brought over from EVE Online? Well, let's take a look at this Marshall kill. We can see straight away that the information that's been brought over from EVE Online includes the ship, all of the mods that were on the ship, the rigs, the ammo that was in the turrets of the launches. We can see the fit of the ship and what's in the cargo. We get price values here which is relatively up to date of everything that was killed and dropped. We can see where the kill took place, the name of the pilot, the corp and the alliance, whereabouts in the solar system the kill took place, the time, the amount of damage that it took, and then the value here. So the total kill value was 39.164 billion, of which 29.9 billion dropped. Now what does drop mean? When someone gets killed on EVE Online, a wreck is produced, and within that wreck is some of the modules and cargo that was in the ship that was destroyed. It is random what drops and what doesn't drop, but if you want to see from a kill mail what did or didn't drop, then if we scroll down here, you'll see that some of these lines are dark green, and some of them are grey. Now, the green ones are the ones that dropped. They appeared in the wreck and someone else came along, picked them up and did a little dance. For example, this Cormax modified damage control dropped and was worth 23 billion -esk. Now over here we can see the perpetrators, the killers, the pilots that were involved with the kill. A whole swarm of tornadoes we see that the final blow was by a pilot called Crimson Mech and the top damage was by Haven Hyde. And people used to be able to leave comments, but letting EVE Online pilots leave comments in public's not traditionally been a very good idea. So it's been left as to, you can click one of these comments, whichever one suits your emotional response to the kill. Now this is just the example of one kill, but what I'm going to do is show you how how Zedkill drills down this information and organizes it in a way that makes it really useful. Just from this page, I've got a number of links that I can follow. I can click onto this pilot and see his profile, the number of kills that he's been involved with. Now that is automatically suspicious, isn't it? This pilot has seemingly killed another pilot uh, goodness knows how many times in a bantam if we just click into the top one there we can see that he is in another marshal and is killing empty bantams in jita so that looks like somebody who's just trying to put kill marks on his ship so we can click into the characters or if we go back, we can click into his corp or his alliance. So if we click on his alliance of brave, then this is the alliance kill board or Z kill board. It tells us their most viable kills in the last seven days. You can click in to see their most viable losses. And there's that marshal again. And you can scroll down and then you start to see the worth of these kill mails. So if I click into this Praxis, for example, I now know this pilot's Praxis fit, at least on this particular occasion. So how, do, how would that help you? Well, let's say that you're in low sec looking for a fight and you see a pilot in local 
and you scan his ship and you see that it is, for example, a Rifter or a Thorax, you can get that pilot's name, type it in here and see if he's lost one of those ships recently. And then you could click into it and have a good idea of what his fit's going to be. So that intel is useful for you when you're deciding whether or not you want to take on a fight. Because if you know what he's flying and what he's got fit in there, then you can adapt your approach. And that intel could give you the edge in winning a fight. So if I click into my profile here, you can see my name, my court, my alliance. And this is great from a vanity point of view. Because if you go to top and then all time top, you can see your top all time skills but it also gives you all of your stats. It breaks down your kills into the corps that you were in when you got the kills, the alliances that you were in, the top ships that you've used within all of these kills, and the systems where you've had these kills take place. You can click on ranks to see how you fit in against all the other pilots of EVE Online. And I particularly like the stats page it breaks it down month by month by value, the amount of ships that you've killed. Uh, and the ultimate vanity page is the trophies page, where Zedkill give particular trophies based on the stats that you have. For example, get a kill in high sec, and it'll break it down almost like the one, two, three, four, five skill levels within the game. So using Zedkill is as easy as clicking up the top here and linking up your account it doesn't give zedkill any permissions that you wouldn't want it to have it's basically just there to pull through any information about kills that you're involved in whether you be the the victim or the perpetrator now it is free to use but if you want to get rid of the ads or if you just want to support zedkill then there's a couple of different ways that you can do it you can send isk in game to zed killboard and it only costs five million isk a month and every six months that you buy it gives you a bonus month if you send more isk than that then that just gets added to your port and you can use that to sponsor kill meals so if you're looking to wind someone up give out some salt then you can sponsor a kill meal and it would appear in this bar on their own personal Z kill, their corpse, their alliance uh, Z kill page. But once the information's in Z kill about the ships, the mods, the cargo, you can then click into any of those and it will give you details of other kills that have that item. So say for example, I go down to large skill injector and click on that. It will give me a list of the last kills in date order, which contained a large skill injector and that works for any item so if I click on that Praxis kill it tells us that in a wormhole this Praxis was destroyed by stealth bombers Astratios and that he had two large skill injectors but because it's not highlighted with the dark green they didn't drop into the wreck so as well as being a bit of fun it's also a great resource for Intel now once you log into Zedkill, you can give permissions for the kill mails to be brought through automatically. If you've got details of a kill in game and you want to post it manually, then there's a post button up here. You would right click on the kill at the top and, and copy the external kill mail link. And then you would paste it in here, click submit query, and then a moment later, the kill will populate on Zedkill. Zedkill was built and maintained by Squiz Caffeinator. It's a very smart website. It's tremendously well presented. And as well as being a good read, it's a genuinely good source of information. If you're looking to get inspiration for fits, ship fit ideas. So check it out, zedkillboard.com. I'm MacGyble, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.